Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, I, I gotta turn this off. It always trips me out when I have the uh, monitor enabled so I can hear what I'm saying. Well, it's, you know what I mean. Come the speakers. <laughs> Anyways, um, obviously I'm already fairly medicated, and I'd say I'm fairly, fairly, fairly medicated. Because I got my Bud Zone Canada order in today. Oh my god, it looked. I was just. I got home probably about. 7 o'clock tonight. And I uh, asked my wife, I was like, hey, was there any mail? And of course she's like, yeah, I, here it is. I had it put up. So I open up the Canada Post packaging. And then I can see the vacuum sealed package inside. And it just looks like, oh, there's some stuff. And I'm like, oh my god, can't wait to open it. Of course, I had to wait for the kids to go to bed. And then uh, wait until about ten o'clock, and then I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna crack open this now. And I don't know, probably about fifteen minutes after I got down here, the wife texted me, asking if there's uh, anything special about my order this time, because she knows I love getting my Bud Zone Canada orders because there's always something a little little extra in there, and uh, that's why I love Bud Zone. They are awesome, awesome to deal with. Superior products, BudZone.ca. Check them out. So uh, earlier I was uh, vaping on uh, some Bruce Banner number three uh, concentrate. That is really, really, really good stuff. I gotta say, it's nice. It's a hybrid. Uh, I think I'll, for me at least, I, it felt a little bit more like uh, indica dominant, but uh, it was quite enjoyable. And then I got uh, I just vaped on. Did I vape it? Yet? I don't know. Let's check the bowl because I'm, I'm a little bit high. I don't know. I have not. Okay. So I got this blue cheese indica. And uh, I'm I'm not a fan of blue cheese in real life, so I'm hoping this tastes good. <laughs> but uh, I, I I think it's going to be good. It looked like a really good strain. All the reviews I could find were all very positive. So hopefully you're going to join me on this one because guess what? It's puff time. If you've never been here before... Rules are simple. Very, very simple. You join my sesh. All you gotta do is roll something up, grab your bong, blunt, backwood, pipe, whatever. It doesn't matter how it is, how you smoke it. But uh, if you uh, puff, then just join. Have a puff with me. And if you don't smoke at all, you know what? That's cool too. But uh, I'm about to hit this one. So it's puff time. So let's get to hitting it. Whew. Cheers. <coughs> oh wow that's got a different flavor <coughs> that's quite enjoyable holy crap <coughs> the cough isn't isn't as uh, severe I mean the Bruce Banner made me of course cough not as much as uh, the granddaddy purple <coughs> that I usually uh, smoke but this uh, blue cheese <coughs> Very nice, very very nice. That's that's a very delicious um, rip. Wow. I don't even. <coughs> I don't know if that's what blue cheese tastes like. Maybe it does. I don't know. I have all these strains that are supposed to be <coughs> named after these flavors and stuff. I don't find any of them really taste like that at all. Um, it just tastes good. We're gonna check the bowl on this real quick, guys, before <coughs> we get into things. Um, yeah, the edges aren't too, 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 too bad. Spoke too soon. Uh, you know what? No, ooh, that's still some garbage. Some garbage. Not some garbage. Some garbage. So we're just gonna. Oh shit! There, I'm making a mess, guys. I'm making a big mess. That's why I shouldn't do this. Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh Jesus, dear Lord. Um, oops. So I just started pulling it out, and then okay, the the reclaim, and the rest of that hit the rip that didn't completely vaporize. Anyways, fuck. 
And it's just all over the place now. So I'm just going to put the lid back on. No, I'm going to wipe that off first because I'm like, nope, it's going to seal up. I can't be lazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, tops. A little thinner now, a little easier to use. Darn. Darn, 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 darn. Oh, Alright, let's finish this off and then get into this one. That one, <coughs> it's going to be more of a cough because I got to the end and it was <coughs> fairly dry on the end of it when you know you've gotten it off. <coughs> it's funny, I paused the recording here uh, <coughs> because I was coughing so much and then I got to cleaning things and Probably since I paused it, it was probably only about four minutes, but uh, yeah, I kind of forgot that we were doing a podcast. Oops. It's okay, I'm back on track. That was just paper towel. I wasn't farting. I do have to turn down my headphones, though. Uh, hopefully the music isn't too... Uh, uh, it's going to bump. Hang on, guys. Oops. All right, there we go. So now, I can officially turn down my headphones. And just have that playing gracefully in the background for me and hopefully for you. So, to, obviously it's been, I've been, I've been down in the dumps quite a bit lately, guys. Um, it's hard to shake it. It's hard to shake it. And it's really affecting a lot. I'm, 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 I was noticing, but it, when other people start to notice it, <clears throat> like my wife, that really hurt me. Um, so, anyways, today was a much better day because I was trying to be more self-aware of how things were going on for myself, and I felt I accomplished a good amount today. I really did. So, uh, I was just pleased with how the day went. I feel very kind of relaxed right now. Um, and I don't think this uh, blue cheese has really kicked in yet. Even from that first day, it's only been probably seven, six, seven minutes. Less than that. I don't know. <clears throat> Usually about 10, 15 minutes. I find, personally. So, I can only imagine how laid back and mellow monotone. I'm gonna be probably about five minutes. Who knows? But oh, these strains are good. These strains are good. But yeah, you know what? It, it was just a good day. Got a lot done. <clears throat> a lot accomplished. Hopefully tomorrow is another good day. Um, I think it will be, honestly, because uh, I know I can do it. I know I have the ability in me to just fucking rock it out and get shit done, get shit accomplished. Uh, Fuck, man. I can move mountains when I put my mind to it. I have before. Obviously, figuratively. Um, in this company. In this position. I just have to keep giving myself little pep talks. Keep taking my meds. Medicating uh, as much as possible. And uh, just trying to stay positive. <clears throat> and when I feel that negative cloud coming on, I gotta start doing this more often, guys. I gotta start getting on the microphone, hit either going live or just recording a moment for you guys. Because that's what this is about. That's what I've always tried to turn this into. And I think that's... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, you know what? That's, this is one of those high insights that we're gonna try to get out real quick. I think because I was slowly getting the progress of getting everything switched over to puffcast my moment from versus the puffcast um, having it set up and ready because it hadn't really done what I wanted to do with it like it was it was it was in the momentum of going where I wanted to take it but I hadn't I still wasn't broadcasting or publishing a whole lot of uh, episodes for you guys too too much 
But uh, now that I'm really kind of seeing that, you know what? I remember how many times I would podcast, how many episodes that I put out during the summer when I was I was really in the shit there, guys. I was feel oh man, you guys know you guys you guys remember. You have to remember what it was like for that summer for me. Uh, if you've been following along the entire time. If you haven't, well, you're going to have to go back and take a look. All I'm going to say is there was a lot of uh, not good stuff. And, of course, we're kind of we're not there, but uh, we're inching back again. It's those stupid waves, man. Maybe I'm manic depressed. I don't know. But uh, I think the show was just waiting for me because I, I found that very therapeutic during the summertime. I couldn't help where I was at mentally. Um, but this, this, well, the show then, of course, was mainly just about getting stupid high and, well, you know what, still talking about whatever was on my mind and talking about what was going on with me, just in a slightly different format, I guess. But it was so therapeutic for me. So realizing now, I have to be, I kind of start doing the show more because it's every time I puff cast my moment, right? And that's the whole point. I'm puffing. Fuck. I'm stoned as fuck, guys. I really, really am, because now my explanations are a little crazy. But they're not as long, which is good, because usually it takes, like, twice as long for me to get to a small point. So, I feel I did get there. <coughs> Still love me? Yes, hopefully. All right, so, tonight we're drinking on some... Rockstar Pure Zero. I know energy drinks aren't good for you. I know they're not. They're bad for the heart. But uh, I haven't been drinking them as much, actually. So I really uh, pulled back to just a couple of, couple of week uh, versus sometimes a week and a half, right? Whereas for a while there, I was drinking them mm, fairly frequently, and I knew okay, no, I gotta cut that shit down. And now that all the Halloween candy's kind of going down to just the shitty stuff, I have no interest in it anymore. Um. We're going to stop eating candy. Because, yeah, we got to start being healthy. And, of course, it sucks because de- December's coming up, which means all the Christmas goodies. The chocolates, the baking, the pies. <sighs> oh, mama. All the good stuff. But this year, I'm... It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And I'm going to be so fucking high. Um, a lot of the time. Because Christmas is hard for me and, and my wife. Uh, last year was the first year we celebrated without um, our youngest because obviously, um, as some of you would know, she she had passed away um, this year. Slightly different. We are looking forward to Christmas this year, but uh, so it's still gonna be tough, I know. So I'll be medicating probably a little more than usual. That's why I like the dabs. But because it's Christmas, it's also gonna be all that food. So I'm gonna try so hard to to be a good boy and be the a smart diabetic, and uh, I'm gonna challenge myself. To not, not, not have any, uh, like, candies, chocolates, any, any baking that I just shouldn't have. That would be overly sugary. Um, basically everything good about the Christmas season. Yeah. (laughs) All that good stuff. I am not going to touch for the entire month of December. Mm-hmm. However, ooh, however, New Year's Eve. That's when I'm gonna just fucking dive. Not dive headfirst in that shit, but New New Year's Day is my birthday. I'll be turning ooh, 35. Getting old, man. Getting old. So that night, I'm sure I'll eat some munchies because I'm gonna be really high. Um, Kid free, preferably. Otherwise, I won't be. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so for pretty much all of December, I'm gonna go munchy free of bad shit. No chips either. Nothing. Nothing. None of it. I gotta be smarter. I gotta be smarter. I gotta take care of myself because you know what? There's a family that relies on me, and I gotta do as much as I gotta do my part in trying to better myself as much as I can do with where I'm at mentally. You know, I still gotta put in my effort. Put in my attempt. That's what I tell my own staff with everything. All our projects. All our contracts. 
you know what? You got to put in the attempt. I have to see the effort. You can't quit just because it got hard. Like one person actually was in the morning. Last year it snowed. And uh, she texted me saying, oh, I don't think I can get up uh, to uh, this building to do this work. Uh, because of all the snow. I was like, well, you know what? It's currently 1030 in the morning. You wouldn't have to go up there until 530 tonight. Uh, how about you make that attempt tonight and then we'll see how well it goes. Sure as shit. Because she didn't want to go. Because it was like, it was two days before Christmas. But you know what? It was her job. You, you go up and you got to do the work. Right? So she made it up there and texted me. Yeah, much better. Roads were good. Yeah, no shit. You don't quit just because it gets hard. No shit. Right? That's why tomorrow is going to be fucking insane. Why? Because, uh... I've got a staff meeting, or several actually, because I have to basically make a round to see all the different uh, areas that I uh, oversee. Um, so I'll be, mm, there's going to be so many staff meetings tomorrow. <laughs> but that's the message. It's you don't quit just because it gets hard. D-Day, man. It's time everybody steps up. When we go into any site to perform work orders, uh, maintenance requests, whatever. My technicians have to be professional, and they have to uh, they have to give it their all, right? No more sloppy uh, service calls. Bastards, bastards. So, I think it's going to go great. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward and kind of scared at the same time of bringing down the hammer, but I think it's needed. I've had way too many staff lately just kind of dictating to me how things are going to go. Or they tell me that they're taking this day off and why. They're not asking. They're just telling me. Right? That really pissed me off. And I think... Uh, and of course, they're not the only one. Other people do it too. Right? Like multiple people do this every well, a month or so. And I let it go on. I've let it go on. Um, and because I was where, where I was at mentally, I think everybody started to see that I wasn't doing, I wasn't doing my job as, be as well as I should have. And I think all my staffs could see it. That's why when they all started to slack, right, all comes back to me. So it's going to be day I really got to start working nights as much as I don't want to I really 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 think that's what I got to do for a while uh, just the shit part with that is I'm not going to see the kids very much um, it's just that's going to suck but uh, I think it is important that maybe I just completely switch to some night shifts for uh, even a week Come maybe December, because I got too much shit I got to wrap up uh, this month. But uh, yeah, you know, I think that's I think that's gonna be key. A week of nights and just shake the shit out of the tree, hit up all my sites wherever any of my technicians might be showing up. Uh, I, I got the roster of what the calls are for. I know when they're gonna be where. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Sorry, I'm a little bit high. And I haven't even taken a drink. Damn, dry mouth. <sighs> Whew. That was good. Oh, You know what? I'm going to take another dab. Why not? Why not? So yeah, that's kind of the gist of my day and my plans uh, for the next little bit. At least that's my... That's what I want to attempt, but and I'm going to do everything I can to get there. But I know just because I feel good in this moment and want to do that doesn't mean I'm going to physically be able to do that or emotionally be able to do all that because it's very taxing. It's very hard to give it your 
when you're not there mentally um, right mental health fucks you over but that's why we still try because we don't quit just because it gets hard or we don't give up. Fuck, I forgot. I'm gonna have to re-listen to this episode now because I forgot what the thing was. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit high. I'm getting dabs everywhere. At least there's a table and they're all oops. We're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. No, oh, we're good. We got it. Alright, I don't know where the other one went though. Fuck. Wasn't the huge one? Probably on the table. Fuck! What oh. happened? <gasps> okay, we're good. Apparently, it's something time down. It's okay. It's really dark now. Jeez. Hello. Um, that was weird. That was weird. As fuck. All right, we're just gonna turn that monitor off. We don't need you. And now that I'm squishing this dab between my fingers, it's getting all soft, and I gotta start to like. You know, and because this one was fairly smooth to hit um, this is the blue cheese I think okay let's get make sure dead center I'm gonna take this I'm gonna try to take it in a one hitter um, I'm not gonna hold it I'm gonna take it though I'm gonna take the hit rip it and expel it. I always try to hold it a little, a little longer than I should because, well, uh, but I really gotta clean up the lid of this thing. It's so gooey, so gooey. <clears throat> so it's puff time, guys. Um, yeah, why not? Ladies and gentlemen, puff time is about to commence. Fuck yeah, it is. <sighs> Thanks for being a part of. Uh, this moment. Let's hit this. As always, stay lifted and keep smiling. subscribe to the podcast <coughs> and follow me on Twitter the podcast <coughs> yeah something like that